For President Trump, who has talked so much about winning, there's a real push going on to identify some tangible victories before an upcoming report card. Now, 13 weeks in office may not have the same ring to it as the upcoming 100 days. And so far, there's no typical honeymoon to uh, have some easy passage of legislation to start off his presidency. Rarely does the president simply walk to an event with no motorcade, but his first visit to the Treasury Department next door to the White House made that easy. While there, the president teed up an unexpected new headline for next week. We will be having a big announcement on Wednesday having to do with tax reform. The president described his tax cut proposal in an interview with the Associated Press as bigger, I believe, than any tax cut ever. The president's plate is full, closing in on the 100-day mark next Saturday. With no legislative achievements yet, the White House is reviving an effort to repeal Obamacare when Congress returns this week. It's going to be great. Well, it'll happen. You're going to do health care and taxes? It'll return. happen. We'll see what happens. No particular rush, but we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. White House sources acknowledge that a second attempt at repeal is still a tall order, given lingering differences among House Republicans. The president brushed off expectations about the meeting the symbolic 100-day deadline. Well, doesn't matter if it's next week. Next week doesn't matter. But the calendar does count to avoid a government shutdown. The Trump team is also negotiating a sweeping spending package that would beef up defense and fund a border wall. Despite the president's tough stand on immigration, he told the Associated Press that undocumented minors, known as dreamers, who fear deportation, can rest easy. He says his administration is not after the dreamers, we are after the criminals. After a tour of the border near El Paso, Attorney General Jeff Sessions answered critics who called him dismissive when he referred to the Hawaii-based federal judge who blocked the immigration travel ban as being from an island in the Pacific. I wasn't diminishing the judge or the island of Hawaii, that beautiful place. Give me a break. I was just making the point that's very real. One judge out of 700 has stopped the president of the United States from doing what he believes is necessary. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.